Hello, my name is Few Candy, and I run a YouTube channel where I mainly focus on lightly modded but very detailed City Skylines Let's Plays. Today I am collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you a tutorial for the City Skylines mini expansion, Financial Districts. I am playing on PC, but everything in this tutorial will apply to those on consoles too. This mini expansion brings brand new financial opportunities to your city, such as providing banks for your citizens, allowing you to invest in city services, and tons of new assets to boost your central business district with the new financial offices specialization. I am super excited to walk you through all of these new features across the course of the next two videos. Today we'll be focusing on the stock exchange and investment functions. The stock exchange is one of the key features of the new content. It functions as the city's financial hub, unlocking both investments and banks. Once you reach Milestone 6, Big Town, you can find it in the Unique Buildings menu under the new Financial Buildings tab. But this building is far more than a typical unique to increase your city's attractiveness. It also provides a tax bonus to surrounding buildings of the new Financial Offices specialisation, which we will cover in the next video. And it can be upgraded to increase the bonus and unlock even more buildings. To upgrade the stock exchange to the next level, you need to buy and sell investments. At each level, you unlock more buildings like new plazas and new bank buildings, as well as increasing both the tax bonus to financial offices and the radius of effect. And what is really good to know is that even if your trade game is not on point, losing money to bad investments will not take away from your progress towards the next level, so you can make those risky investments you'd never dream of in real life. When your stock exchange reaches level 5, you are able to construct the International Trade Building. This is a fabulous looking skyscraper, which allows you to collect an increased tax from even more financial offices. But do be mindful of where you place it, as there is no benefit to overlapping the area effects with the stock exchange. So if you place it strategically, you can maximise the number of offices paying an increased tax and really start rolling in the money. Investments are a new way to bring cash into your city, but just like real life, they do come with a certain amount of risk too. The stock market is tied to the simulation and what happens in your city, for better or for worse. So if your money is tied up in stocks and you experience an emergency, you may not have the money to hand to help, and not only that, the stocks may very well drop. So it's important you keep your eye on them. Once you have placed the stock exchange, you gain access to a new panel in the economy interface, listing all the investments available to you and what is required to unlock them. You can also access this panel directly from the stock exchange as well. This is where you invest in stocks, monitor their progress, and hopefully sell them for a profit. On the right, you can see the stocks you currently own, including how much you will stand to gain or lose by selling them. If you hover over any investment with your mouse, you can see the recent changes in price to help you make a decision if now is a good time to buy or sell. And here is where you can select how many stocks you want to trade using the slider. Each investment carries a different risk and potential for success, so choose wisely. Industries are fairly predictable and a safe option if your production chain is running smoothly. But if your factories shut down due to lack of power or raw materials, you could find yourself in trouble. Similarly, if you choose to invest in city services, their productivity affects the stock price, so make sure they are functional and servicing your citizens, otherwise you risk losing your investment. So be sure to try out the new stock exchange and investment features, but don't forget to invest wisely, of course unless you fancy taking a risk. In the next video, I'll talk you through the new banks and financial offices specialisation, take a sneak peek at all the new maps, as well as talking about the new goodies available to you in the latest free update. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss it. Thank you so much for tuning in. That's all from me for now, and I'll catch you again next time. Bye bye.